Hello, hello. Welcome to the Open Heavens um, devotional written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboe. And today is January the 11th of 2023. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. And I have with me Tolu Animi, amazing young star coming up. And of course, Pastor, Mrs. <laughs> Dami Badijo, um, already established star. This is not coming up. Now we'll pray and then jump into the open heavens. Let's pray. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you that you're helping us thus far. Thank you that we know that we own 2023 by your help and your grace and mercies alone. We ask Almighty God that this day we would receive insight on how to move closer to you, how to achieve, and how to fulfill destiny. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. I hope you guys have paid your first fruits. Uh, okay, you get there. Maybe, okay, salary is coming towards the end, not now. So that's fine. All right. So our topic for today says stand up for Christ everywhere you I'm adding extra to it. Stand up for Christ everywhere you go or find yourself. Stand up for Christ everywhere you go or find yourself. The memory verse off the back is Psalms 137 verse 6. Psalms 137 verse 6. It says, If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave. So that means I'm able to speak again to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Now the Bible reading is in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 to 20. It is quite long. I would also say you should please read it if you haven't. But the gist is very simple. Four young men, or in this case, women, could be, um, were taken captive into another land. They were, their leader was Daniel. And um, in that situation, they were going to be put in front of the king, King Nebuchadnezzar, very long name. Um, to see how they have performed, how they will be useful to him or not. Now, the young men made a request, very simple request, of their manager, their guardian, their chief host, according to the orders of the king, not to eat the fruits, the foods, and anything, and wine, and meals that came from the king, but rather they would do vegetables and water in order for them to remain pure and clean. So tell me, from this Bible text and what is being said here today, anywhere you go, how do you feel you can stand up for Christ? Um, like, for example, mm -hmm. let's say you, like you said, you're out, maybe you're not in a group of godly people or okay. godly people okay you should try your best mm -hmm. to be able to stand in the word of christ and not get affected influenced badly ah. by the people surrounded surrounding you okay i see you how old are you again 11. 11 i like that all right so um to the veteran <laughs> in which stages or places have you ever challenged like like you know standing up for christ have you have you ever discovered that it can be challenging of course yes okay i've um, worked in places where you know they have the stand they have a standard set this is what we are supposed to do this is what we are known for okay and off the record we are doing something else ah so like in school mm -hmm. that they read the creed you know of excellence no more practice and then when it's time to prep student for exams we are doing something else so oh wow okay so from this text would you i mean when the food is on point mm -hmm. why would you swap and start uh, eating vegetables and drinking water hmm. 
I mean, this is the king's food. Though. This this is Asu rock food in <laughs> in our great nation where rice is. Uh, we know what rice Expensive. is. Saying. Eh. I think for them, it was not about the food, the quality of the food. It was not um, about what they had or what they didn't have. Okay. It was about who they were. Okay. You know, they were Daniel and his friends were from another country. If you read the back end of that story, you discover that they were raised as um, children of kings. They were royalty, mm -hmm. and there was a way royalty, you know, was okay. raised in Israel. There was okay. the ordinance that God gave them to raise them. So they didn't forget where they were coming from. So right. it was not the king's table that, you know, that was not like they've not seen you know hey. that exposure, exposure before. before so mm. it, it, it was not going to change what they would do or what they would not do they remained where like they remained their position was with god okay so they remained at that position they didn't allow what was on the table to change who they were and nice. that, that's that's more important than any other thing so as my god daughter that you are um what part of your upbringing so far do you like the most and what part don't you like um, I like the fact that we are taught to be able to learn how to be contented with what we have. Okay. And okay. I don't think there's any aspect I don't like. Oh, nice! Oh, I owe you a gift for that. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is just fantastic. <laughs> All right. So, um, when we go to places um as as you would find out when you grow older um there might be a situation in which you literally would be the only one that has to stand up for christ and stand against whatever else the world has to put um ahead of you or has in, in your face um but from this bible reading we actually realized like you know um pastor dami said that it's there is nothing being offered that doesn't belong to god um the boys were already used to you know all this royal food so but they understood that not to get carried away uh they had to remain focused and not deny their god at any given time like the memory verse tells us that if i do not remember you so when everything becomes rosy and becomes nice i should not lose my head and lose my mind and forget my god um, but rather, I should remain focused and know that my God can always be there for me and help me and guide me. Um, so the key point that we are giving today is that we should maintain our consecration unto God everywhere we find ourselves. And I have a fun fact for you. The reason why the lions couldn't eat Daniel further down in the story was because they couldn't smell the king's meat or his wine inside his system. It was 100% clean and that saved him as well apart from the fact that god also shot his mouth the mouths of the lion but anyway so fantastic anything you want to add again before we go no okay anything you want to add okay i just want to add that um to stand for christ it it will mean that especially in the um in, in the workspace it will mm -hmm. mean that you're coming up to be more excellent, King Nebuchadnezzar had a standard yeah. for his selection, yeah. so, and Daniel and his friend were able to meet up the standard to be part of those that will come to the table in the first place. So we so need they passed the test. Yes, and they were on point. So every challenge, every test allows you to move up to another level and have a new testimony. Mm. Wow! All right, let us pray. My Father, my God, we thank you for what you shared with us this morning through your word thank you for allowing us to be able to have access to information that will continuously guide us through life we ask oh god that anywhere we go we will not fail you in jesus name mm -hmm. any test that is put in ahead of us we will not fail in jesus name mm -hmm. and you give us the grace to always remain by you to always remain in your own standard to always push for the spirit of excellence when it comes to everything we do in jesus name Amen. lord at the end of the day as we are standing for you please stand for us in jesus name Amen. and help us to make it into your kingdom Amen. in 
In Jesus' precious mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me today and for joining us. Um, we celebrate every single one of you and we look forward to the next one. Make sure you stay tuned to Open Heaven's Reflections. God bless you.